Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I was just going to actually show you guys um, all the places where the dogs kind of alerted, you know, where maybe they sense some kind of trauma. So the first one is going to be actually when she approaches the house, he kind of, the dog kind of starts, um, you know, going off a little bit. So I don't know if that was like a typical thing that they do right at the beginning. I'm not sure, but it was like right when um, somebody pointed it out too, like right when they kind of get near that gravel part where some people are thinking that, you know, there was a car park there. I don't think it was possible to fit a car there without leaving some kind of marks. And as you can see that there's no tire marks on the grass, there's no, you know, rocks all over the place. Um, and I know this is the next day, but even if you see the body cam footage of the cops that first day, they come there right before Chris even gets there. I've zoomed in on the grass and the rocks right there, and there is nothing that shows me any evidence that there was a car parked there. But it is kind of strange that the dog kind of goes a little crazy right there. So here we go. Okay, so the next thing the dog alerts to is um, this couch on the porch. So here it is. Okay, so next we have the dog will be alerting right under Bella's bed. So that does make you kind of wonder, um, you know, if something actually happened on that bed or under the bed. Um, if maybe she ran and hid under the bed maybe after she saw, you know, what Chris did or did something actually happen in that bed? Um, I don't know, but here it is. Okay, so the first thing that the dog alerts to in the basement is right by um, some luggage, actually. So I'm not sure what that means. It's right by the window, too. So there's like a bunch of suitcases, and then there's the window. There's a couple totes. There's a laundry basket flipped upside down. So that's the first thing that the dog alerts to. So here it is. Hmm. 
copy break. Okay, so next is where the dog alerts right under the stairs, right by that cabinet. So here it is. Something's upsetting up here. Yep, something's upsetting up here. Hmm. Yes, that's a point 105. Cool. 105. You need to attach me to that meat. I'll be on the same spot. Something's upsetting up here in this area. Hmm. <coughs> Notice that this is the same spot that the second dog alerts to when he comes in. So just remember this spot and then you'll see. play on that? Huh? Will the furnace affect any of that? Well, do, well, I, do I need to shut it, it off? <laughs> It's definitely not made. Stuff on hangers, coats. That intensity, see, he hasn't been that intensity. There's a dead so wasp on the bed, but there's a sleeping so. mask right here, too. Huh? There's a sleeping mask right there, too. Something has set him off. Oh, that's uh, that's a yeah. like a night sleep. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. A night sure. sleep mask. Something has set him off down in this area. Uh, 
maybe get uh, Jeff or one of the others in here and see, because with this, uh, let me, uh, I'll have Officer Perez send one of them in. Before they get going, just bring them down into this area and see, <coughs> and just because <coughs> so intense. <coughs> okay, okay, that's a good boy. I just shut it off. It's hard to tell where that scent's actually coming from. Yeah, for sure. And I'll get him out. Hey, can you send one of the canines down to the basement, please? Let me get him out of here. Yep, she's going to take her dog out, and we need to have one of them come in, and I'm going to stay in the basement and wait for them. So she's coming out right now. Let's just do a, a search of this yep. without information from what yep. Janie did. And, yep, yep. And Sounds good. Is this bed that's used? Or is it we don't know. Um, it's the only bed in the house that's unmade. Yes, that's John County 23. I'm going to run down to Johnson's Corner and see if I can attempt to find this vehicle that they've lost. Mm -hmm. Copy, Sonny, you're up. Can you flashlight? Yeah, I'm just seeing what he's... So he's not doing it, uh, his train final, his <laughs> train final alert. Okay. So I'd say there's there's uh, no um, interrupty stuff down here. He has a little interest here. Um, Dex, come here, please. Um, you know, it, it may be worth looking at this map. Um, if things develop, I don't know. It's just kind of had a little bit of, is this where Janie's dog had interest too? Or? Um, very good. The opposite side, so bed area, and then, and we actually shut off the furnace just to eliminate that, but it was from the other direction right where those coolers were. Okay. So a lot of just refocus, 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 so I don't know. 832, can you repeat that? So, 
if, if there was... Yeah, if you're not tied up on something, you need me out of the corner. Okay. Sorry. Am I good to turn this back on? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, there was just revisiting right here. And the only thing... I mean, there's a bag of rope and some tie-downs and a whole bunch of paint cans. Yeah. So... So, uh, I'm pretty confident it would not be a, a body or a parks. Okay. Um. Alrighty, guys. Let me know what you guys think of what you're seeing here. So, I don't know what to make out of it. Um, you know, like he said, he was pretty confident there was no body or parts. I'm not sure if he was talking about, like, actually there at the moment or if he meant there was ever a body or parts in the area. I'm not sure exactly what he meant when he said that. Does anybody have any um, input on that? Okay, yeah. I look forward to reading your comments, and you guys all have a great day.